Let's watch an installation of the new box pads at a wind farm site in Minnesota. It only requires two men, a backhoe, and about 45 minutes to complete the installation. The bases for the generator poles are made of a 60 foot diameter cylinder of poured concrete with an integral flat area for the equipment base to set upon. A backhoe is used to remove the soil to the flat section and up to the 16 foot diameter pole base. Care is taken to not damage the concrete base or snag the grounding cables that may already be buried in the area. A duct package has been installed in the concrete base to get the cables from the generator to the transformer. Once the duct holes are cleaned up, a crushed stone base is prepared. The stone should be between three quarters and one and a half inches. The depth of the stone base should be several inches to allow the box pad to be leveled and to match up with the pole base top. Care should be taken to level the stone under the entire area of the box pad to prevent pressure points on the planter. Another leveling method that can be used is the incorporation of strut and threaded rod which supports the box pad from the bottom corner. A concrete slurry is then poured under and around the bottom flange. Once the base material is leveled throughout, the large box pad is picked from the trailer. Lifting bolts are screwed in the pre-cast threaded lead inserts in the top face of the box pad which are then used to attach to the lifting rigging. Note that two men, with the aid of a backhoe, easily handle the bases and shift the box pads into their final position. backfill of base stone is shoveled around the flanges. A sealant is applied between the box pad tunnel and the pole base. The virgin soil is then returned to the hole. Avoid driving the backhoe too close to the base when compacting the backfill.
the base is now ready to accept the installation of the transformer. A 2500 kVA 15,000 pound transformer is picked from the truck, gently guided, and set on the base. The openings in the top face of the box pad are coordinated with the transformer base dimensions to match up exactly. Transformer weights and footprints should be supplied with the request for quote so that Concast can provide the correct box pad with a perfect fit. All faces of the base that are in contact with the transformer are to be sealed, inside and outside. After the transformer installation is completed, a crushed stone is used around the generator pole and the transformer base to keep the weeds down. Once the wind generation site is complete, the crop field goes back into full production except for the access road required for each tower. For more information on other Comcast products such as cable trench, modular box pads, vaults, concrete pads, or other innovative ideas that could be best suited to Fibercrete, contact one of our manufacturer's representatives or go directly to our website at www.concastinc.com.